Are you having trouble reconnecting your Fronius Gen 24 inverter to Wi-Fi? In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconnect your Fronius Gen 24 to the internet, assuming you do not have a WPS button. I'm Mark from MC Electrical in Brisbane. This is part of our Know Your Solar series designed to help answer the most common questions that we get from customers after their solar is installed. But before we get into it, you'll want to check if your modem has a WPS button. If your modem does have this little button, then just skip over to this video. Using a WPS button is a fair bit easier. But if it doesn't have a WPS button, you'll need first a mobile phone, your home Wi-Fi password, and the customer password for your inverter. Now, if MC Electrical installed your solar, we would have given you that password with your paperwork. If we install it and you can't find it, just give us a call and we'll give it to you again. If we installed your Fronius inverter, we also may have installed one of our funky inverter shields. So to open it up, just find this quick release pin on one of the four corners. Push in the silver button and pull the pin out. By the way, if you get stuck at any point in this video with weird flashing lights on the inverter, it might be easier to shut down and restart the inverter by following the instructions in this video. Now let's get started. We're going to connect your phone to the inverter so your phone acts like the inverter's control screen. On the front of your Gen 20 and 4 inverter, you'll see this little spot between the two lights that's an optical button. Just tap your finger in the middle just once and the blue light should start flashing, showing the inverter is sending out a signal. That light will continue flashing blue for about half an hour, whether or not you're connected to the internet. Now, pick up your phone and go into settings and disconnect your phone from mobile data. It could just make it easier down the track. Next, go into Wi-Fi and you'll see uh, all available local Wi-Fi networks. Fronius will come up as one of your available networks. The password at this point is just 12345678. Now, after you've done that, open up any web browser like Google or Safari. You won't be able to do a Google search because you've just turned your mobile data off. Just type in this number, 192.168.1.1.1. Now, after you've entered that password, your phone should be displaying the bubble graph of your inverter's production. Press these three lines on the top right hand corner of the screen, the hamburger as they call it. Now, tap communications. This is the part where you enter that customer password that we mentioned earlier. Now, press the hamburger again and tap network. Now scroll down to Wi-Fi and enter your home Wi-Fi network password. And we're almost done. We've just got a few more things to do. At this point, you can turn on your mobile data before you forget again. Now log on to Fronia Solar Web and within a couple of minutes, refresh your browser and your monitoring will be back online. Now, can you give me some feedback and let me know in the comments if these instructions have worked for you so far or if you've had any issues? And do me a favor, give me a thumbs up for the video. Now, as a final step, and since you're logged into SolarWeb, check out this next upcoming video for how to get the most out of your solar monitoring. It'll come up here.